the next uh, speaker is uh, Toishiro Anawa, and he's an uh, associate professor at the University of Tsukuba in Japan, and um, he's going to talk to us about interconnect and accelerators. Uh, thank you for introduction. Um, I am going to talk about uh, interconnection network for tight tree uh, coupled accelerators architecture. And I'm going to uh, explain what is tight tree coupled accelerators in short uh, TCA. Uh, TCA is a concept uh, uh, proposed by us, and uh, it is a direct connection between accelerators such as uh, GPUs over the nodes. And it can eliminate extra memory copies to the host, and so uh, it can reduce rate communication latency and improve strong scaling with small data size for HPC applications. We use uh, PCI Express as a communication link between accelerators over the nodes, and uh, uh, PCI Express uh, because uh, uh, PCI Express just performs packet transfer and direct. Uh, device P2P communication is available. In order to configure TCA, uh, we develop a uh, um, P2 chip. And I explained uh, about the design policy of P2. Uh, <coughs> we decide to implement the P2 by PGA with four PCI Express Gen 2 IPs for uh, prototyping. Actually, uh, we use Altera Stratix 4GX FPGA. <coughs> and uh, it has a PCI Express. Uh, it can be uh, implemented uh, PCI Express Gen 2 by 8 range for each port. And it has a sophisticated DMA controller uh, with chaining DMA. So uh, we can get uh, sufficient communication bandwidth for a pitch 2 chip. To reduce uh, latency, uh, we implement uh, all the logic by hardwired, and uh, uh, we consider about a low overhead routing mechanism. So um, it is not only a um, proof of concept implementation, but it will also be available for production run in GPU cluster, as I will uh, talk uh, in last section. And here is a, a TCA node structure example. And uh, uh, each node has a, includes a two uh, CPU socket and four uh, NVIDIA Kepler GPUs and a uh, P2 uh, board. And P2 can connect uh, among three nodes uh, like this. And uh, uh, this figure shows the uh, overview of uh, uh, Pitch 2 chip. Pitch 2 chip has uh, four uh, PCI Express ports, as I, as I said. And it is uh, fully compatible with uh, PCI Express Gen 2 spe specification. And please note that uh, root and endpoint must be paired according to the PCI Express uh, specification. In Pitch 2, uh, Port two, uh, sorry, port N used uh, to uh, connect to the host and GPUs, and uh, port E and W uh, form the ring topology. And finally, uh, uh, port S is connected to the to the other ring, and uh, it is selectable between root and endpoint. And we assume a uh, write-only protocol except port N. Instead, uh, we can realize a uh, should-read uh, mechanism uh, by a proxy write on remote node uh, in the device driver level. And uh, pitch 2 has a, a two a communication mechanism. One is a PIO. Uh, in PIO, CPU can store the data to remote node directly using a map by device driver. And uh, uh, second is a DMA. And uh, a DMA has uh, two, uh, another communication mode. 
One is a uh, chaining mode, and uh, DMA requests are prepared that the DMA descriptors chained in the host memory. Then um, DMAC uh, issued, and uh, a multiple DMA transactions are operated automatically uh, according to the DMA descriptors. And another mode is a register mode, uh, and uh, a DMA request uh, can be registered up to 16 requests without uh, overhead to transfer uh, descriptors from host to a pitch to chip. And uh, DMAC has a, a block stride transfer function. And this uh, photo is a, a pitch to board. And the pitch to board has a PCI Express Gen 2 by 8 uh, edge connector, and it is uh, compatible with PCI Express specification, as I said. And the uh, uh, pitch to board consists of main board and sub board, and uh, at the uh, side of this board, uh, there are three uh, PCI Express external cable connectors. And most part of uh, but operates at uh, 250 megahertz uh, because uh, PCI Express Gen 2 logic in uh, FT FPGA runs at the uh, same uh, frequency. <coughs> so uh, I will show you the uh, performance evaluation. I, we use a uh, um, uh, uh, test environment uh, with uh, eight node GPU cluster named TCA mini cluster like this photo. And uh, each node has uh, uh, two uh, Sandy Bridge CPUs and uh, uh, NVIDIA K20 uh, GPU, and also a uh, pitch to board. And we uh, compare the results with uh, uh, pitch 2 using uh, InfiniBand FTR10. And uh, uh, in evaluation, we use a ping-pong application uh, for the for measurement of uh, latency and bandwidth of uh, TCA. So uh, here is a uh, uh, result of uh, ping-pong latency, and the uh, minimum latency uh, pitch to get uh, 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 rate 0 0.9 microsecond by PIO uh, between uh, CPU. CPUs and uh, uh, 1.9 microsecond uh, by DMA between CPUs and 2.3 microsecond uh, DM by DMA between GPUs, and uh, we we observed the the uh, uh, MBAPH2 case. Uh, we we can see we could see the uh, 19 microsecond for the latency. So uh, our uh, pitch 2 is very good performance. And uh, um, um, in the various uh, hop count, uh, we can uh, uh, we, we measure the uh, farding overhead. And uh, from these results, uh, farding overhead is uh, 200 to uh, 300 nanoseconds. And finally, uh, ping-pong bandwidth, and we can get uh, uh, maximum performance is uh, uh, 3.5 gigabyte per second. And it is 95% uh, uh, of theoretical peak. Uh, theoretical peak can be calculated by uh, this figure, uh, sorry, this equation. Uh, in contrast, uh, GP, uh, DMA between GPUs is saturated by up to 880 megabytes per second. Um, for that reason, a PCI Express switch embedded in a uh, Sandy Bridge doesn't have enough resource for a PCI Express device read, as the uh, um, Ohio guy said in previous session, a very similar situation. So, um, but, uh, um, in next generation uh, IB bridge, the performance uh, will be uh, improved. So uh, we expect a, a, a similar performance of a CPU case. And uh, uh, 
this is a uh, programming uh, for TCA cluster. And uh, we uh, assume the data transfer to remote GPU within TCA can be treated like local GPU. So a programmer can uh, easily write a, a, a multi GPU program over the node. And uh, uh, this figure shows a typical uh, uh, communication pattern for the, on the uh, uh, stencil computation uh, in 3D case. And uh, uh, each, each plane uh, has a, a different communication pattern and are complicated. But uh, each two can uh, issue only one uh, DMA operation. So um, uh, by use a uh, uh, H2 chip, uh, we can improve strong scaling with small data size. And here is related work. And uh, uh, our approach is very similar to a non-transparent bridge in the PCI Express switch. But uh, NTB is not defined in the uh, standard of PCI Express, and uh, it is very inflexible uh, to use. And MBAP H2 and GPU Direct is very similar uh, to our approach, but uh, they, uh, they uh, reported that uh, 4.5 microseconds uh, between GPU communication. So uh, our uh, approach is uh, better than uh, twi uh, twice uh, good, uh, better than uh, Ember Pitch 2. So uh, here is summary. And uh, we can get a uh, uh, very good uh, performance for uh, uh, PCA. And uh, uh, we will uh, install the uh, 64 node GPU cluster at the, uh, at the end of uh, October this year. And uh, uh, this is an actual proof system of TCA architecture with four GPU per each node. And uh, we will uh, develop the HPC application using TCA and production RAM. Thank you.